Allow me to introduce this fine gentleman, Dominico. Why don't you explain everything to him? N Nevilet? What do you want? What are you gonna do? Kill me? Calm down. I merely want to ask you a few questions. Was it your idea to send that letter to a Melusine? Uh, I... Essain has already confessed, so there really isn't any need to keep hiding. Oh, that idiot! I can't believe I trusted him! Let me ask this another way. It was your idea to send that letter, correct? Yes. Who is pulling your strings? What? Y you're not trying to frame me for something I haven't done, are you? Hmm. It's best if you realize the gravity of your situation. The Chief Justice of Fontaine has been personally investigating your case. I assume your previous attempt to incite unrest at the Fortress of Meripede has something to do with this as well. I... I admit I acted on impulse. I'll tell you the truth. But before that, you must ensure my safety. I can do that. You see? We're all reasonable people here. I only intended to do some small business at first. Someone contacted me about delivering some goods and promised me a generous sum of more in return. After making a few trips, I was suddenly approached by the Marichaussee Phantom. They accused me of smuggling prohibited items, and I was put on trial. But I refused to accept any of that. The ignorant can be rightfully absolved from guilt, right? Well, I suspect that someone got me locked up here so they could get their hands on my goods. <sighs> hmm. And then you decided to take revenge on the Melazines? Over that? My initial target was Nervy Lett. Everyone in the forces of Meripede was declared guilty by him, after all. So they must more or less hold a grudge against them, right? If I could get them to strike back... But for some reason, no one wanted to team up with me. That mutual aid network in particular. What did those nobodies even gain from trying to challenge me? Seriously. In the end, I had to redirect my focus onto Melazines to salvage things. I recall that Kiara was the one who confiscated my goods for inspection. So I asked one of the more approachable guards to send a letter, claiming that I meant to contact my family. But the letter was in fact addressed to Essa. I requested that he write a threat letter to Kiara and force it to resign from the Mari Chaussee Phantom. Am I to assume that the claims you've made are your own thoughts? Have you been in contact with any suspicious people recently? No. Is it true that all members involved in the smuggling scandal have been caught? Yes. And that's all I know. Hmm. <laughs> Sijuin, please take him back to the detention center. I'll deal with him later. So, Monsieur Nervillette, you were concerned that there might be a shadowy faction looking to capitalize on the delicate situation with the Melazines to stir up greater chaos? Yes. I experienced a similar incident in the past, so I had to be prepared for any possibility. And how long ago was this incident? More than 400 years. You might be overthinking this. Time can change a lot of things. Everything's different now. What do you mean? 400 years ago, you and the Melazines you brought to Fontaine were the outliers in society. But in the present day, if someone were to threaten the safety of the Melazines, people wouldn't just sit back and do nothing. I trust that they would make different choices from before. That's right! We saw lots of people standing up for Melazines on our way back to the Palais Mermonia. Monsieur Nevillet, the Melazines are a species you introduced to Fontaine. How the public treats them is also reflective of their attitude towards you. When people refused to place their trust in Melazines, it was because they were still on the fence about you, their unfamiliar Chief Justice. For almost 500 years, you've conducted every trial with impartiality. You made the right judgment each time, regardless of whatever nonsense went on. 
people no longer have any reservations about you and even consider you a symbol of the law. Right now, your every decision will impact all of Fontaine. In other words, you've gradually transformed the whole nation. Paimon gets it now. No wonder no one wanted to join forces with Dominico. I am undeserving of such high compliments. From my perspective, I have simply been fulfilling my duties. It isn't anything special or worthy of praise. I'm simply fulfilling the promises I've made and searching for answers through my judgments. It is unnecessary to hold me in such high regard. The complexity of human emotions and willpower far exceed those of mine. As a matter of fact, I believe that you are the ones who deserve my respect. There's no need to be so modest. The current state of affairs says it all. You're no longer that outsider you were before. Even if you wished to investigate something on your own, many would take the initiative to lend you a hand. I must say that you've made a fair point. Thank you for clearing my doubts. Now that the case has been settled, I should get going. Huh? You're leaving? And so soon, too? Why not stay for a cup of tea? Thank you for the offer, but I know how this place works all too well. While some are here to redeem themselves, there will inevitably be those who harbor resentment towards me. The less time I spend here, the better. My presence could very well result in an unwanted disturbance. In that case, I'll have to insist. I still have two more things to say. Please, go ahead. The first is about the guard who helped Dominico send that letter. Ah, I know of what you speak. The guard was indeed deployed from the Palais Memonia's staff. However, as I mentioned earlier, I visited today on personal business. Therefore, I leave that matter in your hands. Well, that makes things a lot easier. Hey now, don't let your imagination run wild. Those from up there have a tendency to sympathize with others. However, down here, such thoughts will put you at high risk. I'll have a chat with the guard and remind him to take precautions in the future. I see no issues with that. Great! That's one thing out of the way. Uh, what's the other thing you wanted to say? The other thing was born from my own sense of curiosity. Now, I've heard that you investigated the mutual aid network. Is that right? Yep. Nevelet thought their badges looked familiar. I noticed the small gang as well when I first took over the Fortress of Meripeat. They were not great in number, but every member always made sure to stand up for what was right. I've looked into their founder, Vautrin, who once stood trial and was sentenced to imprisonment in the fortress. According to existing documentation, Vautrin remained disciplined throughout his imprisonment. He had never once engaged in physical or verbal aggression. In other words, how he presented himself in prison was very different from his behavior in court. What? During his trial, I could sense that his feelings were complicated. He appeared to be full of resentment, and I believe he had every right to feel that way. Perhaps he had been putting on an act. An act? Nervillette and Vautrin had a close relationship as superior and subordinate. Vautrin must have known that the Chief Justice would make an impartial judgment. Thus, the more resentment he displayed, the clearer it would be to those present that you were upholding justice. And to those who had been sitting on the fence, Vautrin's act was a very meaningful one. <sighs> That's all from me. Does anyone else have anything to say? Now's your chance. I don't have anything to say. Apart from expressing my gratitude, that is. Well then, let us head back. No need to see us off. Please, take care. <laughs>